What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming back with another top 10 countdown from 2021, and we're diving into the other world of wrestling action figures, the AEW side, All Elite Wrestling Man. Ever since we got our figures from Jazzwares, Jeremy Padauer, the whole team over there, we have been mightily impressed over here, man. I, I mean, they're no short of their faults. They definitely have their faults, which we've discussed before. We, we know that both Mattel and Jazzwares both struggle time to time with different aspects of our wrestling figures, and and that's just, you know, that that's part of the game, right? You're going to get better. You're going to learn from your mistakes. You're going to uh, take your bumps. You're going to live and learn. And that's the way that it goes. But today, man, we're going to dive into the top 10 best AEW action figures from 2021. So just like my top 10 WWE elites of the year, we are going to dive into our top 10 AEW unrivaled figures or AEW figures of this year. And just like that video, I do have my honorable mentions list. So what I typically do is I'll create a top 20 and I separate my top 10 into its own thing that we go through one by one, but then I take 20 through 11 and kind of put them up here for you guys to just see so you guys can see kind of where we're working with and some figures that just missed out on the cut that were really good this year, and some of those may even have missed the cut too. Like, this isn't every single good figure. Just because a figure's not pe featured here or my top 10 doesn't mean it doesn't have any good qualities about it and all those things, so on and so forth. So I did want to give a shout out to some of these figures here and I even probably missed a few here, and I missed some in my WWE Elite figure video. Everybody was hammering about Elite Series 89 Drew McIntyre. That was a great figure, all right? I just forgot it in the video. Decade of Domination Kane, forgot it in the video. I apologize. They were meant to be honorable mentions, and I forgot about them. We have the Unmatched Series number two, Santana over here. Really like this figure. I think the head sculpts are fantastic. I love the camo. I love everything about it here, but I don't think he quite made the cut. He was a great looking figure, though. I really enjoyed the Santana figure. We have both versions of Jungle Boy, the Unrivaled Series 5, and the Ringside Exclusive. Both of those are really great. I think they literally represent Jungle Boy perfectly, but there were so many other figures that just beat him out. Everybody was like hammering about this figure. Dude, this looks just like Jungle Boy. I mean, I don't know what you want out of a Jungle Boy. This is Jungle Boy. Head sculpt, formula, I mean, my God. he He's not the, he doesn't have the best joints in the world as far as like posability and like his feet are kind of small, which kind of deducted some points, which left him out of the top 10, but I think if they make some tweaks to that figure, he'll easily be in next year's top 10. I'm sure we'll get another Jungle Boy this year at some point. Amazon exclusive Chris Jericho. Love the clothes and stuff that you got with that figure. Unrivaled Series 3 Darby Allen speaks for itself. Such an amazing figure. Hangman Series 5, not the best head sculpt, but from the neck down was great, but his wobbly dobbly legs and the loosish belt left him off the list. Santana and Cody from Unrivaled Series 4, unbelievable. Great looking figures there. Jackson from Series number 3 Unrivaled, another great figure. Matt didn't make it because of his terrible head sculpt, but Nick was, was right there. He was really good. If he had a better head sculpt, he would have been even higher. You also have Unrivaled Series 4 Ortiz and Guevara, two very underrated figures. And then, of course, we have, I would say, our best women's figure of the year in Conti. Very good figure. Best women's figure they've made to date, and I'm sure they'll improve upon that. But that is it for our honorable mentions of AEW action figures this year, man. With all that being said, let's dive into our top 10, the official MDT top 10 AEW action figures of 2021. into the number 10 spot, ladies and gentlemen, we have Wardlow from AEW Unmatched Series number 2. A very fantastic figure and a figure that really shocked me. I was really excited to get Wardlow. I feel like he's one of those that was on TV very, very early on. He may have even been on the first Dynamite ever, and it took a while to get him in hand, but we finally have him, and I'm so glad that we do. He, he's a big, girthy guy. You know, he's a big muscle guy. Great interchangeable head sculpts with the screaming head and the straight face. I hope to get one in suit one day, but this is a great addition to the, to the collection. I know it's kind of a boring gear, but I mean, what what is he? He's just muscles and kick your ass. You know, that's all you really want out of a Wardlow. And number 10 was a great spot for him. I thought they knocked it out of the park with this Wardlow. Feels really good in the hand. Doesn't stand the best, I will feel. His ankle pivot's not the best. However, really fun figure to pose around. I'm glad that we have Wardlow in the collection. the number nine spot is Ortiz from that same exact series. AEW and Match Series 2 Ortiz was fantastic, man. The camo pants look great. I love the Hunter Orange that we're getting in there. You know, really, if you're from the South, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I, I know that there's hunting in other places, but especially in the South, man. If you're from the South, you know you go into a store, you will see this Hunter Orange and camo combination, you know, all over the place, right? And I love the buckles and the different one-of-one -one sculpts that we get with this guy. I love that he has all of his tattoos pretty much exposed 
clothes. I know that is he's not completely shirtless, but that black tank top with the tiger eye gloves and the teal headband. It's just really, really great figure, man. You got the great sculpt of the of the hair there with the headband, the great crazy head sculpts. You get two interchangeable head sculpts just like his last figure. I love the orange shoes. It's just a really fun figure to pose around. He feels good in the hand as well. And he's just overall great, man. I mean, I don't know what to say. This is one of those figures that's just fantastic. He's got a lot of different unique sculpts about it. It's not, you know, just all the same all the time. I feel like Ortiz is one of those guys that's going to change and change and change because he changes his gear a lot. And it, it should be fun for the rest of the way for Ortiz. But this figure kicks all the ass and it came in at number nine. What a great looking action figure for 2021. number eight man we have another figure from that series yet again we have sting from that set and this figure is fantastic as well I, I love sting i thought that his first figure was pretty damn good it impressed me a lot it was one that really really shocked me it was one i wasn't that hyped about i was really afraid of how weird the crotch looked and how it would feel in the hand and just a lot about things about this figure i was really worried about but at the end of the day it really delivered i like the baseball bat accessory i like you know everything that's going on with it the head sculpt is probably the best sting head sculpt that we've seen from a crow sting uh, genuinely, I think that is the case. I know it's a more modern sting. Hopefully, we can get some throwback stings in the line as well from Jeremy. But I think at the end of the day, this one delivered. It, it shocked me a lot. It feels good in the hand. It poses around well. His boots are a little bit wobbly. You know, he's not perfect by any means. But I was really happy to add this figure to the collection. I like it a lot. I think if you're a, a sting guy, you will like this figure a lot. It's one of the better modern sting figures that you will find out there. And I like it a lot. And, I, I, you know, it's, 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 it's pretty damn good, man. I like the head sculpt a lot. I would say that the first AEW Sting figure definitely delivered and he made it at the number eight spot this year. Coming in at number seven is the ringside exclusive TNT champion, Cody. This is everything you want out of a Cody figure. I think this is the best Cody that we have gotten to this point. The silver just pops off of this figure. The purple is like a matte, and it really balances nicely with the silver. So the silver and purple is a great, you know, little combination there. The white boots really pop off. I love the neck tattoo on the figure. Uh, the great interchangeable head sculpts, the skin tone. It, it just has a great likeness to Cody. You get the cloth shirt. It's a pretty much perfect ringside exclusive. I, I love it. I think it's fantastic. Great, great t-shirt on there. It's just a really fun one to pose around. Cody has some of the best figures from AEW, and this one is just the best one, I think. So, I think this is a great spot for him coming in at number 7. He could have probably even been a little bit higher, but this one is, is pretty much perfect. This is the best Cody figure ever made in the history of the world, I would say, and so he comes in at number 7. Very damn good. I love it a lot. One of those that I will keep picking up and posing around, so that just tells you how damn good he is, man. He, he is one of those great ones, and he comes in at the number seven spot. I love this head sculpt. Probably my, one of my favorite AEW head sculpts to this point. Coming in at number six is AEW Unrivaled Series 6 Penta. This one is beautiful, man. If you own this figure, you know how great it looks because of the black and gold. The gold is perfect on this figure, much like the, the silver that we got on the TNT Cody. The gold is perfectly replicated here. I love all the tattoo detail you get. I mean, Penta's head sculpt here is fantastic. It's just a straight face. You get the nice face paint. You get the beautiful looking mask. You get the black and gold body gear and the different stuff going throughout. You get the waist wrap. I mean, it is just a beautiful looking character. He looks like a Mortal Kombat character right here, man. He, he is just looking on fire. I know he does anyways, but he really comes to life here in AEW Series number 6. I thought his Series 2 figure was probably just a little bit better, maybe, but this one feels really good in the hand as well. His joints do get loose pretty quickly. However, if you're just going to display this guy, he is he is pretty damn good, man. He, he just looks so good with the black and gold. Great looking head sculpt, and I love the interchangeability and hands of it. It's a great piece. It's it's definitely, it's beautiful. I can't wait for more Pentas to come in the future, but he is a great looking action figure, so he had to come in at the number six spot in my top 10 countdown of 2021. Coming in at number five and a figure that I want to be number one so badly is going to be the Unrivaled Series 5 Luchasaurus and I guess the ringside exclusive if you want to include it because it has a bomb head sculpt and the attire is just as good. You guys know I love the white gear. So it, it, you, com you combine two things that I absolutely love, the white gear with Luchasaurus, one of my favorites. You know you're going to get a banger of a figure there, but this figure is just lacking so, it's so much, but it also at the same time is so good because the head sculpts are fantastic. 
fantastic. The body molds are fantastic. Like, I think that he looks amazing. I think that the paint apps, I think that everything about it looks insane. He just doesn't pose like you like. He gets loose joints in his legs. He doesn't have any leg rotation. He's hard to stand. He can't bend his knees because of the different, like, falafel that's going on on the back of his knee pads. Very disappointing for, for that because I love Luchasaurus. He's one of my favorites in all of AEW. This figure is just beautiful to look at. You have the mask, the tattoos. He's massive. It, it's just such a great... It's, it's literally like the embodiment of it. It's like it's great and it's also terrible, which I think is why it should go at number five, right? Like, I know a lot of people may have this at their number one spot, and I understand that completely, but if you, if you take your figures and you pose them around a whole lot, then you will find out quickly that this figure is lacking in a lot of areas, and that's really where it disappoints me because I love Luchasaurus again. I think that this figure is great looking. It's the best looking figure they've ever made, no doubt about it, but a figure is more than how it looks because, I mean, a statue can look amazing, but if you can't pose it around, then what's the point? So that's kind of where I am with this Luchasaurus. I love Luchasaurus. I think it's great. It's fantastic. It's terrific, but at the same time, it let me down a whole lot this year because he can't pose around like I'd like. You guys know that I want to feature him in MDT and, uh, you know, whenever I get around to the next episode, but at the same time, time it's going to be very very challenging to make those things happen so wish me luck when I pose them around but this figure could be so much better I hope that the next time they release Luchasaurus they improve him greatly hopefully that will be the case maybe you know he'll be able to, to stand up better he'll be able to move better he'll have tighter joints he'll have kick pad rotation or leg rotation down below not just in the upper thigh cut but that's where Luchasaurus stands for me it's, it pains me but also it had to be done here at the number five spot Number four is going to be the AEW and Rival Collection Series 4 Kenny Omega. What a beautiful looking piece. One that poses around well. Feels good in the hand. One of those AEW figures that doesn't get loose on you, man. It's one of those that just feels great. I love the yelling expression from Kenny. I love the gear that we got. A significant upgrade from our AEW Series number one, Kenny. It absolutely blows it away. It gives it a V-trigger. It gives it the one-winged danger off the top of a damn skyscraper because this figure is insane. I just love it. It's the embody. This is a staple in the AEW figure line. This is going to be one of those that you look back on in 10 years and you say, damn, that is where like I knew AEW took off because this figure right here is just that embodiment of it. I love the way the gear looks. This is some of my least favorite gear that Kenny wore on TV. Like he wore it and he wore it. He literally wore it for like a year straight, I swear to God. And then they made it in figure form, and it looks a lot better in figure form than it does in real life. So that's just insane how that works out. But this Kenny is fantastic, and I just had to had to put him here. He is he is so good. Like if you don't have any Kennys, this is probably one of the Kennys you want to get, and you just have to have it in your collection. Regardless, this is one that I I, I buy this every time I see it. If I find it at retail, I buy it. It's not even a question about it. It is beautiful, and I'm so glad to have it in the collection. It is one of those staple pieces of AEW. This is one of those that AEW needs to come back to of what, what did we do right? This is where they need to come back to. Coming in at number three, ladies and gentlemen, is the Unrivaled Series number three, Orange Cassidy. What a beautiful piece this is. At one point, I had four of these on ice because this figure is so sick. I love Orange Cassidy and just everything that they put into this figure, the technology and the, the cloth goods and the glasses. I mean, it's a perfect figure almost head to toe. I will say, though, I think that the gimmick that they used here is very, very smart. It's very, very innovative. I think that it's fantastic in that way, how you can actually put the hands in the pockets and all those different things. The only thing that I would say after that is I feel like every single Cassidy after this, maybe you want to re-release it down the line, but I feel like the Series 8 Cassidy, it really doesn't have anything to do with this one, I guess, but I don't want to see that technology on every Cassidy ever because that's where this figure is limited. So I had to take a second one and cut his legs so that he would be able to pose around more so that I could use him in a pick feds type scenario and be able to pose him around. So I would say that if we get another one down down the line. I know we're going to get him because he's one of the most popular in AEW, right? Everybody loves Cassidy. So I wish that for the Series 8, they would have given him actual legs that pose around. So give him the, the typical cut at the top of the thigh. Give him a thigh cut. Give him like molded legs. And you don't have to have it where he puts his hands in his pockets that time. That way you can have one that you use to run around the ring and one that you use to put the hands in the pockets. So that's something that I'll, I'll ride on that train for a while until they actually make it. But the cloth goods on this guy is insane. I think it's a 
perfect scale of Cassidy. I love all the one of one sculpts that we get. Again, AEW and Jazzwares kills that, man. They, the one of one sculpts is just so cool to see how we don't get just things repeated and repeated and repeated. So that is something that I always adore about Jazzwares and AEW. This Cassidy is so cool. It's so innovative. And it's one that people will marvel at 10, 15 years down the road for sure. And I'm sure that this this one is just a staple in the AEW figure line, man. They're changing the game. And the, the jacket shirt two in one is excellent as well to make it where it's not so thick when you put it on there. Just genius stuff. It's beautiful. It's terrific. I love Cassidy. Love this figure. So innovative. Came in at number three. Coming in at number two is going to be Darby Allen from Unmatched Series number one. I think that they have perfected Darby Allen, man. Honestly, from head to toe, I know a lot of people were probably shocked to see Unrivaled Series 3 Darby in the honorable mentions, but I think if I had to pick one, I would have went with this one. And his figures are so good. Like, they feel so good in the hand. I cannot wait to use him in a pick-fed scenario. I don't know when that'll be. I'm just saying when I pose him around, I get goosebumps, man. He's really fun to pose around. He's a fun talent to, to, fun, to you know, throw around. He can he can do all the different things. He's crazy. He's like a miniature, more poseable version of Jeff Hardy, man. He's just one of those guys that you love to pose around. And I just find myself picking his figure up, posing it around, putting it back on the shelf quite often. It's just super fun to do. Uh, you get the necklace. You get the face paint and body paint. You have a very unique look. He fits really well in the hand. He has his sleeve tattoo, which is why he beat out the Unrivaled Series number three, because he has his full sleeve tattoo. He's got more body paint. It was just a better looking figure, in my opinion. I'm still trying to track down both Chase variants because I think that Darby's an excellent figure. He's an excellent wrestler. And this is just an amazing figure. I, I really, really enjoy it. Again, just one of those that feels good in the hand. It makes you, it makes it really fun to collect action figures when you have figures like this Darby Allen. So that's why he comes in at number two, man. What a great piece and what a great Darby Allen action figure. And coming in at number one is AEW Unmatched Series 1, Kenny Omega. I think that this one is so beautiful, and you're probably wondering why I had two Kenny Omegas in the top ten. Well, they're just that good, man. They really are. I think that Kenny is the guy that, I'd say Darby and Kenny and Cody are probably the guys that they just did perfection on as far as their figures. Like, they feel so good in the hand, they pose around really well. The formula that they use, the head sculpts that they get out of those guys, and just the attires overall, man. These attires look so good. The screen printed technology of the gear makes the gear look better on the figure than it does in real life. It really captures a lot of those details. I love the head sculpt that we got. You don't have the yelling head sculpt like you got from the Unrivaled Series 4. You get that serious, pissed off, gonna cut your head off Kenny Omega that I've come to love over the years and years of watching him. It's just such a beautiful piece. I had to put him at number one. It is just the best. It feels fantastic in the hand. You don't get the loose joints that you get. You get a great likeness. You get some great accessories. You get the shooter hand and it's just fantastic, man. I, I think that a lot of people would say this is one of their figures from a this is one of their favorite figures from AEW and I don't have any issues with it, man. This is a perfect figure, I'd say. I think he is perfect from head to toe. I don't have any issues with it. It's actually another one of those figures that I buy every time I see it at retail. Again, it's one of those guys that, that I do that with. So if a figure is that damn good, I think that it belongs near the top of the list. And in this case, this Kenny is the best figure they released this year. I cannot wait for 2022. I think it's going to be the year of the figures for AEW and Jazzwares. We're going to get a ton of pieces that just blow our minds. I think we're going to get excellent play sets, figures, uh, just repeats of guys, great new technologies and head sculpts. It's going to be insane. I cannot wait for it. Maybe this could be the year that we finally get to My Damn Nation. So that's what my goal is for this year, man. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy my top 10 AEW figures of 2021. Can't wait for 2022 to see where all these figures stack up compared to that list. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what your top 10 is down below or your top 5, top 3, or just your number 1 figure of the year down below. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And don't cross the line like me when I forgot to include Drew McIntyre in the WWE Elite video, alright? I crossed the line, alright? You crossed the line, I've been